Chapter 8, Hero. There was much rejoicing in the courtyard. Mrs. Lambchop kissed Stanley and Arthur. Mrs. Weeks kissed Emma, and then everyone else, even Flash Tobin, who had arrived to take pictures. Mr. Lambchop shook hands with Mr. Weeks and Chief Johnson, who announced several times that Stanley was a great hero. Flash Tobin took a group picture of all of the lamb chops. Need one more, he said. Emma, just you and Stanley. Your hero, right? Saved your life. I could have gotten out myself, Emma said. I just didn't know exactly where the door was. But she went to stand by Stanley. Smile, Flash Tobin took the picture. Yes, that's good. He gave Stanley a cheerful slap on the back, just as Emma's elbow jabbed hard into Stanley's ribs. Ow, Stanley yelled. Emma grinned. That's for you, Mr. Hero. Are you crazy? What? Stanley stopped. Everyone was staring at him. He felt peculiar, as if, yes, he was getting round again. Wow, Emma said. How do you do that? Hooray for you, dear, shouted Mrs. Lambchop, and more crowds, cries rose from the others in the courtyard. Do you see what I see? He's blowing up. Are we crazy or what? Flash Tobin aimed his camera again. Hold it, kid. But he was too late. Before him, now, stood a smiling Stanley Lambchop, shaped like a regular boy. Mr. Lambchop ran to hug him and everyone else applauded. Been 30 years with the fire department. Never seen anything like that, said Chief Johnson. Wouldn't have missed it. I'm really glad, Stanley said. But what made it happen? What Dr. Dan said, shouted Arthur. Remember the osteopastio whatever? The OBP, the osteo balance point. Mr. Lambchop smiled. Yes, the slap on the back from Flash Tobin and the poke from Emma. That did it. A board fell from the tilting roof of the Merker building, landing in a corner of the courtyard. Let's go, folks, said Chief Johnson. We're not safe here. A moment later, back out on the street, there was more hugging and kissing and saying goodnight. Suddenly behind them, there was a great creaking and grinding sound. Turning, they watched what was left of the Merker building come crashing down. Emma spoke first. Oh boy, she said softly. Wow. Mrs. Weeks caught her eye and gave a little nod towards Stanley. Emma looked puzzled. Huh? Oh yeah, she turned to Stanley. I guess maybe you, you know, saved my life, whatever. She kissed his cheek. Thank you very much, Stanley Lambchop. It's okay, Stanley said, quite red in the face. You're welcome. Everyone was sent home. Chapter nine. Fame! At bedtime the next evening, the Lamb Chops read again the Daily Sentinel. They had enjoyed so much at breakfast that morning. The front page headline read, Rude Girl Saved, Flat Rescuer Regained Shape. There were also two Flash Tobin photographs, the, the Lamb Chop family picture and the one of Stanley, Stanley and Emma taken just before. She poked him in the ribs. Arthur was particularly pleased with the family picture. Finally, he said, not just Stanley. People could have been wondering if he had a brother, you know. Can I have this one? You may, said Mrs. Lambchop. I want the one of Stanley with Emma for my kitchen wall. I don't care about pictures, Stanley said. I just hope I never go back to being flat. Mrs. Lambchop patted his hand. I told Dr. Dan of your recovery, dear. He thinks it is most unlikely the flatness will occur again. Yay, said Stanley. Arthur cut the family picture out of the paper and used a red pencil to draw an arrow pointing to him. In the white space at the bottom under the arrow, he wrote, Hero's brother. Then he taped the picture to the wall above his bed. Soon all the lamb chops were asleep.